Hello history fans and welcome to Relics and Ruins short history of Goodrich Castle. The castle is located on a high spur overlooking an ancient crossing point on the River Wye in Herefordshire to control an important strategic route between England and Wales. The first castle was built of earth and timber in the late 11th century by Godric Mapperson, which is where the castle gets its name. The stone keep was added a generation later by Richard Strongbow de Clare, after his father Gilbert had been given the castle by King Stephen. Richard later found infamy as the conqueror of Ireland and fought with Henry II in Normandy. When he died in 1176, the castle passed to the crown as his two children were too young to inherit it. It remained with the crown until 1204, when King John awarded it to William Marshall, the Earl of Pembroke, who had married Richard de Clare's daughter in 1189. William Marshall had already significantly updated the castles of Chepstow and Usk, and it is likely that he added curtain walls to Goodrich. William's five sons in turn inherited the castle, but by 1245 they had all died, and so it passed to his granddaughter Joan, who had married a French nobleman, William de Valence, who happened also to be the half-brother of Henry III. De Valence set about extensively rebuilding the castle, and only the tower remains from its previous incarnations. The castle was architecturally very sophisticated for its time. After William's death in 1296, his widow Joan retained the castle as part of her dowry. The castle passed into the possession of Richard Talbot, 2nd Lord Talbot, in 1326. Many internal alterations were made under the Talbots in the 15th century. During the Wars of the Roses, the Talbots forfeited Goodrich after John Talbot, 2nd Earl of Shrewsbury, died in 1460 at the Battle of Northampton but in 1485 the Forfell finally regained possession of his lands and the castle. By the 16th century, Goodridge was used less and less as a residence, although it stayed in use as a judicial centre and prison. During the Civil War, the castle was initially held by parliamentarists, but it was taken by the Royalists soon after. In 1646, the local parliamentarists' commander took the castle after a ferocious siege. The castle was left largely in ruins, but was still occupied as a residence on condition that it was slighted. This means it was rendered useless as a defensive structure. During the 18th and 19th centuries, it became a tourist attraction, especially following the advent of the railways when it enjoyed frequent visitors alongside nearby Tinton Abbey. I hope you enjoyed this brief history of Goodrich Castle. If you did, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more Relics and Ruins. Bye for now.